Hi, and welcome to episode two of Farhan 2.0, Getting Heart Centered. But before I dive into today's topic, I have some updates for you. As you know, I have been recreating my entire life, and part of that has been the launching of my brand new podcast, um, Elevate Your Life, a transformational podcast as well as this video series which is documenting everything that I'm doing that I'm sharing with all of you but uh, there's also been some new developments and progress as far as my career and so I'd like to share with you this announcement and so my friends the big news is that I have returned to clinical practice as a physiotherapist very exciting I'm very happy to be joining this team of awesome health professionals at um, Alleviate Physiotherapy. And um, it's great to see patients again. And um, and just, uh, yeah, it's part of recreating the career aspect of my life in Farhan 2.0. Um, as I mentioned, I've been working on the podcast and this video series and uh, I'm also now working as a full-time clinician. So if you're interested and in need of physiotherapy services, please feel free to contact me. You can direct message me for contact information, and I would be happy to um, let you know how you can book an appointment with me. And of course, I will continue to share any new developments and progress that I'm making on this journey that I'm calling Farhan 2.0. But I thought it was important to begin our conversations with getting heart-centered. And for me, that is the first step in recreating my life. Because when we're heart-centered, we're able to go into our heart space and see what it is our heart's desires and to experience life from that heart-centered place. When we're not heart-centered, um, we we can be in a state of worry or fear and anxiety and all of that actually disconnects us from dropping into our heart space and knowing what it is that we want but when we are in our heart center we can get more clarity we have a better sense of what it is that we want but also we experience a sense of peace and presence and stillness and so this is where I kind of started um, with my particular journey. Um, and this, this process isn't new for me. I want to say it is something that I've been practicing for a long time and something that I've been teaching my clients as well. Before we actually work out or go through the program, we go into our heart space and set intentions from there. But I'll be talking more about that in future videos. For now, I just want you to learn how to just connect to that heart space. And incidentally, the distance from our heads to our heart measures only 18 inches. But something really struck me when I heard that quote, as you saw at the beginning of the video, the furthest distance we will ever travel is from our head to our heart. Meaning, it's actually not that far. The thing is, how do we get there? And when I heard my friend Petra Kolber say that quote at the Canadian Fitness Professionals Conference when she won International Fitness Presenter of the Year, I was sitting in the audience and I heard that and it really struck me. I knew that that was something that I was practicing with my clients, but she articulated it so well. And just as a side note, Petra and I met in the fitness industry, as I said, and uh, she was on the American Reebok Master Trainer team and I was on the Canadian Reebok Master Trainer team, but I knew her before I actually became a trainer. But the minute I saw her present at a conference, I was in complete awe of her. And when I became a master trainer, I, um, 
I, I turned to her and she was a mentor to me and continues to be a mentor to me today in many ways, um, especially throughout the fitness industry. But more importantly, she is one of my closest friends and someone I love very dearly. And so getting back to um, getting heart centered, I'm going to share with you today two simple, easy ways to do this because it's actually not that complicated. The first way is to simply take your hand and place it on your heart and breathe. And so the minute you place your hand on your heart, you immediately connect to the presence of peace and stillness because that is who we are at our essence. And going to our hearts takes us there. And so if you're having a stressful day or you don't have time to dedicate a lot of this, especially in today's climate with so much going on, the simplest and easiest tool that I can give you is just put your hand on your heart and breathe. And then just notice. Just notice the presence of stillness. Notice the sense of peace. And that's the only thing I want you to practice is just that connection. The second way is a meditation that I do on a regular basis and I did of course after mom transitioned and I want to say it was not always easy to do when you're in a state of grief like that and oftentimes I do still experience intense grief waves but I still go into the practice and even if I don't feel that connection I just stay in the practice of doing it regularly because I know there are days when I do feel it and then there's days where I feel it in different intensities but I stay in the practice and it's just a three or four minute meditation and it's something that I do with my clients as well so if you have a few minutes each morning before you start your day I suggest you start with this meditation that I'm going to leave with you and in addition to that if you are um, you know living a busy lifestyle then at least take a moment just 10 seconds to put your hand on your heart and connect to that presence and peace that exists within you. And it is when we are in that state of calm and it is when we are in that state of peace can we actually listen to our hearts and you'll be amazed at what your heart has to offer you. And so my friends, let's begin now by going through this meditation. You can do this meditation um, at the start of your day and as often and as many times as you like. There's no prescription, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Whatever works for you. And at the end when you're done, you may want to take out your journal, take a few notes, and see what your heart has to say. If anything, just journal what that connection feels like so that you can embed that into your cells and know when it is that you're feeling connected versus when you're not. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, gently close your eyes. And just bring your awareness to your breath. And with every exhalation, I want you to tap in, tune in, and dive in towards your inner being, while just letting the exterior world just fade away as you listen to the sound of my voice. And so take a deep breath and as you exhale, just bring your awareness to your chest and just notice as you bring your awareness to your chest, you start to feel a sense of peace and presence and stillness. And then take a deeper breath, deeper than the last. And as you exhale, tap in, tune in, and dive in, and bring your awareness to your heart. And just notice where your heart occupies space in your chest. And as you do that, the feeling of peace and presence and stillness starts to magnify and increase. And you start to feel this throughout your body. And then take a deeper breath, deeper than the last. And as you exhale, tap in, tune in, 
and dive in even deeper and get so still that you can hear and feel your heartbeat inside of your chest. Listening for your heartbeat and feeling your heartbeat helps you to feel the peace and presence and stillness even more. And then take an even deeper breath, deeper than the last. And as you exhale, tap in, tune in, and dive in. And now bring your awareness to the very center of your heart. Connecting now to the source of that peace and the source of that stillness. Feeling that presence and stillness magnify even more and fill your entire being. And continue to listen and feel for your heartbeat as you focus on the very center of your heart. And now just notice what it feels like to be in the state of connection. Notice what it feels like to feel that peace and stillness and presence and just make note of it. You may also feel sensations in your body or you may be seeing colors. Simply observe and witness this experience. And then take a deep breath in and gently open your eyes. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you for taking the time to watch this video today. It would also mean the world to me for you to subscribe to my channel, click like, and also comment on today's video. Please visit my website, farhandala.com, where you'll find the links to all my podcast recordings, which are now streaming on all major platforms. Thank you again, and I look forward to connecting with you soon in my next video.